Oh, hello there. Well, I'm back to a very bad, bad, bad discovery. Yes. My discount department store is useless. Totally useless. Why, you ask? Well, let me explain. So, my discount department store basically was going to involve random allotments of random things that people could use. They could come along, pay five diamonds for the entire contents, and away they'd go. But, uh, Jurassic's. Jurassic's. If you want to see this shop, make sure you go check out Jurassic's video on the build. I can't show you it all. It, it, it's amazing. But, it's the same concept. But free. How's an honest businessman supposed to make any diamonds when Jurassic is doing it for free? Huh. Hmm. As you might recall, earlier in the season, we made the Rusty Spoon Tavern in the Medieval area. And it was going to have a very special feature. A secret feature. A hidden feature. If you might remember. Reimagine is still working on the inside of the Rusty Spoon Tavern, so we can't go in there yet. But Rusty Spoon, how cool is that? Anyway, <laughs> one spoiler down. But this This is what we were looking for. So today, this honest and fair dealing businessman. We're gonna set up the black market. Mm -hmm. So, first step is obviously to clear out some space so we've got a little bit more to work with because obviously the initial caves that were dug were quite small. So coming back up to the entrance where you actually drop down here, and we'll show that uh, very shortly, we're using acacia logs uh, just to give it a bit of a, a very dark sort of feel. We're also interjecting into the walls with the cobblestone as if we've mined our way through and the wood beams are holding them up. In the ceilings, very, very shortly, you'll see that we're using the dripstone blocks. That was actually mined out of the cave. Uh, along the edges to give it some supports, we're using the slabs and the stairs. As we make our way down the staircase to the second level, we continue with the same pattern and the same theme, making sure that we light it up as we go because we don't want any nasty surprises down here. We're now going to implement some redstone on the door because we just don't want any old person to be able to wander on down and get into the black market. So we're going to be using a key code lock system. So it's a specific lock, a specific key that will open the door only. Now this system here is actually designed by Impulse and it's actually quite a simple one. It's using a filter system to read the card on the door, but we'll explain that more shortly and also link a tutorial down below. Now to finish off here, the entrance foyer to the black market, we're laying it out with carpet and we'll show why shortly, but instead of the cobble, we're using the deep slate, just to give it a bit darker as if we're going a bit deeper, but we are continuing with the acacia logs. Now obviously if you've made your way down here and you don't have a key, well you're going to need a way out because you're not going to be able to get out the only way, and well this is how you're going to have to get out if you get down here without authorization. Mm hmm And with that then, we now head down into the black market. Alright, so that's completed uh, the downstairs portion, which we will show you in full very shortly. But technically, this is a shop, so I suppose we should do something very important. Okay, to get into the black market, we come through here. As you guys have already seen, you hop up on the shulker, go eee, all the way down, and make it down through the walkway to here. Now, 
If you don't have a key, which means you don't have access to the black market. So it's not for you, don't come in here. To get into the black market, well, if you don't have a key, you go through this door and that's your exit. Pretty self-explanatory, that one. But to actually get in there, you need the black market access key. And the only way to get one of these is possibly through Adventure Guilds. So, you basically throw it on the floor, the system reads the key, and it will let you in. It's supposed to give you one back. But it didn't. Put it in the system. It gives you the book back, and away you come into the black market. This door system created and invented by Impulse SV. I will leave a link in the description to the fabulous tutorial that was used. But essentially, this key here can only be created by myself and cannot be copied. So if you want one, Adventure Guild. Right, so you basically come down and anyone that's going to be selling stuff out of the black market, it's obviously expandable. But as you can see here, the first lot of the deals is all logs, one diamond per stack. Because let's face it, all the log prices in the shopping district are pretty um, high. So hopefully, hopefully very soon, aha, hopefully very soon we'll get some other uh, items for sale here in the black market. Make the cost of living maybe a little bit easier here on the server. Yes. And that's it. And then to get out, you hop down here and there's the exit there. So, unfortunately, the time-lapse stuffed up of me building this, but you don't really need to see it. It's pretty simple. And the, it, there is no way out, other than, basically, you can't come back this way, so you have to go through the exit. Well, that about wraps it up for today's episode here from the Interrealm server. We hope you've enjoyed a quick look at the black market. Obviously, a bit of a quicker one, but exciting nonetheless. Now, some exciting stuff coming from the server very, very soon. We have our Christmas event coming up, which Joushland is putting together. That should be very, very interesting and very, very cool. And, well, we don't want to say too much, but there's mini games coming very soon, so stay tuned. Also, on my other channels, Troj Plays, a couple of new series will be starting in the very near future. We have Vault Hunters. Yes, that's the first one. That's starting in like a week or so, in which you can watch that live on Twitch. My Twitch channel linked here. Yes, right here. Yes, right here. Click it. Oh, don't, you can't click it, but follow that link and go follow it. Yes, please. Please. Thank you. And another limited edition series, which I'm very excited about. More information coming on that soon. But you can also find that on Twitch and on the Troj Plays YouTube channel. But with that, that's Troj coming out from today from Interrealms. Hope you've enjoyed. Obviously, Interrealm supported and proudly powered by G Portal. With that, we will very, very soon see you for more escapades from the Interrealm server. Goodbye.